Hello everyone, he is risen. He is risen indeed. Welcome to Gaming Scripture and Commentary. Christian gamers talking about Jesus through, through this little bit. Talk, Christian gamers talking about Jesus through his word, commenting on anything that happens to come up, and playing a game. This is Upstairs, where we're going to play Civil Edition 6 tonight. And welcome to episode 158, Genesis 30. As you might notice, if you watched the stream before, that I'm missing some things. One, Jeremy's online, and two, Norman. Norman unfortunately broke his, or yeah, broke his ankle, so he's unable to stream, and so I decided to play a different game. So prayers for him, and we are praying for him so that he has a uh, he has surgery, I think, tomorrow. He said, so pray for him to feel better and to get well and um, uh, be healed. And so in the meantime, grace to you and peace from God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ. Opportunity to play some Civilization 6, and this being a little slower game gives me plenty of time to comment on anything people have to uh, type in chat. So yeah, anyways, uh, each broadcast starts off with a prayer, as we always want to give this time to God and let His will be done and not ours. After all, there is no better way to do this than through prayer. It's our one-to-one -one relationship communication. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for what you do for us, even when we don't ask. Thank you for loving us no matter what we do. You made us in your image with a mind to know you and a heart to love you and a will to serve you. But our knowledge is so imperfect, our love inconstant, and our obedience incomplete. Help our souls to breathe after you, after a de dependent devotion to you, to grow in peace and to grow in grace more fully and freely every day. There is no one else we can go to and there is no hope for us outside of the resurrection of Jesus. Help folks who are watching this to be blessed. Help those who are seeking to find and help those who have found to become better equipped and surround all of us with a community that will show us the way. Help us to see that we only truly live when we live to you. In Jesus' great and glorious name we pray. Amen. All right. Um, get you out your Bible. You know, watch the old-fashioned kind, you know, paper kind with a binding and that kind of thing. Or an app on your phone or tablet or a website such as BibleGateway.com, Bible.com, or BlueLetterBible.com. We are going to read in the New King James Version tonight. While you're going to that, flipping your pages and getting to Genesis 30, I uh, want to remind everyone, if you have any prayer requests, please post them here in Twitch chat or in the discussion area, whatever platform you happen to be watching this video on. If you don't want to post publicly, fully understand, send me a private message. Love to pray for you. Uh, we welcome any questions, comments, thoughts, sayings, tips, whatever. After all, this is a discussion and a place to hang out in a conversation and to enjoy the hobby we all love called gaming. And uh, hopefully, in this time, uh, enjoying Civilization VI. And if the content is something you ha want to share or like, then please, by all means, share and like and subscribe. Check out stuff on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. All right. Double checking to see if there's anything in the chat. Nothing in the chat right now. So we're going to jump into Genesis 30. For those who have been following the show, we just talked about what happened with uh, good old Jacob and his love for Rachel got somewhat derailed by a uh, scam during his marriage and he got married to Leah, you know, and then, then he had to marry Rachel. Leah was blessed with children, Rachel had none, and so that's going to cause some problems and divisions. We all know that in the end, Jacob has 12 sons. He also has daughters too, but 12 sons. And we see that they're born among four different women. And we're like, what the... Are you kidding me? Polygamy? No way! Well, you know, wasn't all, it was, it's not, it wasn't, God does not uh, condone polygamy, okay? And he definitely talks about it many times through the Bible about polygamy, more than one wife, is not being a good thing, right? After all, the pattern was set, very beginning, Garden of Eden, he made Adam and Eve, period, that's it, okay? Jacob, you know, uh, was tricked, and you can argue that he could live with a trick and just say he was met Leah, but he still loved Rachel, and so he... So then, then, of course, they all felt bad about things. So we're going to go, we're going to go forward, okay? So we're going to see what happens, okay? Now, when Rachel saw that she bore Jacob no children, Rachel envied her sister and said to Jacob, Give me children or else I die. Now, envy is not a very good thing, okay? And Jacob's anger was aroused against Rachel. And he said, Am I in the place of God who has withheld from you the fruit of the womb? So she said, Here's my maid, Bilhah. Go into her, and she will bear a child on my knees, that I will also have children by her. Then she gave him Bilhah, her mate, as wife, and Jacob went into her. And Bilhah conceived and bore Jacob a son. 
The angel said, God has judged my case, and he has also heard my voice and given me a son. Therefore she called his name Dan. And Rachel's name Bilhah conceived again and partook of a second son. Then Rachel said, With great wrestlings I have wrestled with my sister, and indeed I prevail, so we shall call him the Vitali. Let's back up for a minute, okay? So Dan, you know, stands for judge, okay? And uh, Naphtali stands for my wrestling, okay? So I find it interesting that people call people these names in such a way, like for us, it's like Dan. So what's the problem with Dan, right? But he had meaning. And so we, we all have, our names today have meanings, okay? We just don't, don't consider it, okay? When Leah saw that she had stopped bearing, now mind you, she said already had like three or four kids, she took Zilpah, her maid, and gave her to Jacob as wife. And Leah's maid Zilpah bore Jacob a sign. And then Leah said, a troop comes. So she called his name Gad. Which, of course, by the way, means troop of fortune. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Funny. Um, eh, where is it at? Where is that? Sorry. Uh, then Leah's maid Zilpah bore Jacob a second son. Then Leah said, I am happy. For the daughters will call, will call me blessed. And so she called his name Asher. Now Reuben went in the days of wheat harvest and found mandrakes in the field and brought them to his mother Leah. Then Rachel said to Leah, Please give me some of your son's mandrakes. But she said to her, Is it a small matter that you have taken away my husband? Would you also take away my son's mandrakes also? And Rachel said, Therefore he will lie with you tonight for your son's mandrakes. Then Jacob came out of the field in the evening. Leah went out to meet him and said, You must come in to me, for I have surely hired you with my son's mandrakes. And he lay with her that night. And God listened to Leah, and she conceived another child and bore Jacob a fifth son. Leah said, God has given me my wages because I have given my maid to my husband. So she called his name Ishkar. Then Leah conceived again and bore Jacob a sixth son. And Leah said, God has endowed me with a good endowment. My son, my, now my husband will dwell with me because I have borne him six sons. So she called his name Zebulon. Afterward, she bore a daughter and called her name Dinah. Then God remembered Rachel, and God listened to her and opened her womb, and she conceived and bore a son, and he and said, God has taken away my reproach. Well she called him his name Joseph, and said, The Lord shall have the Lord shall add to me another son. Joseph, of course, stands for he will add. Now you look at this and you're going, Well, that's quite a story, right? And it's like it, so Jake so so Leah, I mean this whole story of Leah and Rachel is extreme by itself. The fact that, you know, on the wedding night, yeah, he was Jacob was deceived. It was Leah, not Rachel. He wakes up in the morning going, what the heck, right? Because after all, there must have been a head scarf or something covering their faces, right? Even though I'm wondering about body types. Was there a difference there? Maybe he was drunk. He didn't care. You know, it's like, hey, my wedding night. You know, hey, you know. But then, but Rachel knew. Leah knew. The dad knew, okay? I mean, come on. You know, it's like, whatever. So, so then he finally marries Rachel too, okay? And then it's like, so Leah has four kids. And Rachel's like, now she's envied, right? Rachel envied her sister. And you see later on. Right? When Leah says, you have taken my husband. It's like, uh, wait, what? I mean, it is, it, is a small, it is a small matter that you have taken away my husband. And I'm, and I'm, I'm thinking, wait, wait, t Leah, you're the one who was part of this whole trickery, okay? Come on, I don't know about that, okay? After all, Rachel said no kids now. So you can definitely see there's this thing going on, right? So Rachel's so mad, and she's like, give me children. And Coach Jacob's like, yeah, wow, okay, so, like, I'm God, I can't do anything. You know, what am I supposed to do with that, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm no doctor, I'm no OBGYN, I'm not going to be able to reverse it. I'm not going to do tests on whether or not what's causing this thing. I, God's just withholding from you, okay? So then she gives her his her handmaid. I'm like, well, come on, really? So I think, basically, I think the handmaid, both handmaids become concubines, right? Which I think is like like a second wife or a lower class wife to them. It's not, it's not like a prostitute or a mate or a servant. I think it's more of a... Uh, lower level wife, okay. So you have you have he, so Jacob has four wives, okay. He has two main wives and two sub wives, right. But the thing is also interesting is the fact that when the maids had the children, they were considered to be Rachel and Leah's kids, you know, even though they were their kids. I mean, I, I mean, obviously the moms raised them, so you know, in name only, you might say right that. But so so it's like then so it's like. Oh my gosh, you know, then then Leah started having kids, right? And she got mad, and okay? then she took her maid, and then so, so then look at Jacob's dad. Now, mind you, Jacob is complicit in all this, okay? He could easily have said no. He's like, no, okay, I already have two wives. I don't need four. You know, I don't need your handmaid and be my concubine, you're right? It's like, whatever, okay? But he did, you know, I mean, in the end, we have, we have, only have 12. We don't see, we only see 11 right now with Jacob, with Joseph, right? Eventually, we're going to see. Rachel, she has a, she bears uh, Benjamin, 
But it's like, you know, this is you can already see this is a making of problems, okay? Making of a dysfunctional family that is like, wow. I mean, I I, I don't. It's, it's I mean, I, I what I love about the Bible so much is God showing us how human people are, even the patriarchs, right? After all, it's Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay, the patriarchs. And, you know, considered, and of course, Jacob becomes named Israel. And so there's a lot of things that go on, the positiveness, right, with uh, Jacob and Israel, right? But it's like, you know, he uses, and he, and he and said, God doesn't, God already set the pattern, Adam and Eve. So, and so Jacob blew it, okay? And you see what's happening, right? I mean, Jacob blew it to the point where it's like, he has 12 kids, 12 sons, they're all his sons, but they all have different mothers. And it's all, it's, it's backbiting and, and nitpicking and, Things going on. Eventually, we're going to see that the kid, the brothers are going to sell Joseph. Okay, so they had no. I mean, yeah, they're they're he's my half brother, right? But I I don't think they would have even thought about selling their 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 full blood brothers. Okay, I mean, it's like I don't know. It's just you see it. You see it's happening. Okay, so it's not like uh, there isn't a um, punishment happening even inside the sin, right? Because you can see the dysfunctional family. So we have it going now. We have eleven kids now. So uh, we're not quite done yet. With uh, Benjamin, but we have the pattern set here, and eventually we're you know we're gonna see more of this. So, anyways, I'd love to hear any comments people have about this, any thoughts or questions, you know. So, I'm now ready to get into the game. So, but before I do that, I, want, I do want to pray for all of us. Okay, so, uh, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the opportunity to read your Word, opportunity to uh, talk about your Word, and the opportunity to understand, well, try to grasp more of what you're talking about in your Word. I'm so grateful for um, opportunity to do this, you know, and help us to understand what we're seeing in this and understand how our lives can be impacted and can learn from the, from the stories you give to us and how you guide us in our lives. So uh, help us so much in everything we're doing. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. All right, now I'm going to start a game. Okay. This is going to be a new game, okay, using the expansion Rise and Fall. It's out now. Yes, I have it, okay. So I'm going to play a new game. So I'm going to play a game. I'm going to start to create a new game. Um... I they're, 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 here I'm doing the expansion. I'm gonna do the king level, even though it's a standard game speed, continents, and then I'm gonna do six players, okay? Standard eight. Now I'll do standard, okay? Now, here's the thing I always I always trick about, or what should I do? Continents, fractal, NNC, island plates, Pangea, Shuffle, Fully Plover, Fist Arm, Snowflake, Earth. To start Earth, Aquarial Europe, or to start location Europe. And I just think I don't I just want continent, okay? I just want now here's the other thing, Rand leaders, okay? So I liked I was playing um, Poundmaker, okay? Because he has uh, lions types shared provide visibility. Your trade routes grant plus one food for the Poundmaker for camp or pasture in the receiving city. Trade routes grant plus one gold for for camp or pasture in receiving. Oh, that's bad that part. So I like this. I'm gonna do it again, okay? Um, I, I was playing this game earlier, or playing him earlier. Now, mind you, this is not the only person, okay? You got all these other choices. The old ones, but also new one, other ones that came from the expansion. Over the Bruce, you know, or the Scots. Can declare war for liberation. I was like, well, okay. Plus 100% production and plus two movement for the first 10 turns after declaring war. Um, oh, wow. Let's get a bonus for a war. <laughs> Happy citizens receive additional science and production for a. Oh. Okay, great scientists and campus. This is pretty good. Golf course. Scottish Lightning. I don't like this part of it. I don't really need this, but I like this part. Scottish Lightning gives me more science and more production. Happy to generate plus one great science point per. Hmm, we'll just do this one. I'm going to play this guy. I'm going to play the Brother Bruce. Okay, here we go. Ready? Here we're going to jump in. We're going to play the Scots. Okay, I'm going to Bruce. And let's go. Sean B. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Robert the Bruce, as the stalwart defender of Scotland, you are no stranger to war, yet rarely do you seek to inflict it. If you keep your people happy, you'll inspire them to greatness. 
Let anyone who takes advantage of your weaker neighbors meet your fearless Highlanders. They can teach the true meaning of freedom. Freedom! Okay, yeah. So don't forget the features and active abilities. You know, I can declare war. And it's Scottish Lightman, okay? Highlander, unique land unit, and golf course, okay? So here we go. And now I'm not going to do a Scottish I, I'm not going to do a Scottish accent. I'd be curious to know what they... That sounds Scottish or not? That's, that's the question. Am I sounding Scottish? Am I sounding something different, okay? What does a Scottish accent sound like? Okay, here we go. So, one thing I... This this new expansion is kind of cool because it has governors and other things too, right? And you can literally... You, depending on where you put your cities at, you can lose your cities to influence others. It really kind of keeps your, your continent, your empire more compact, right? So that being far flung. But hey, you know, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try to play this a little more to the, to the bone, right? I mean, I'm going to have like three or four cities. I'm going to try to keep things gro growing gradually, okay? But I definitely need to have, you know, uh, scouts, you know? That's still a, a unit that really needs to be done, okay? All right. This is a good spot for a civilization. Got some... I'm gonna go right there. I have a city, Sterling. I'm gonna build myself a scout. There you go. Choose production. So I'm gonna go always. I tend to go with the mining first, okay? Because it allows me to build like this, you know. And then eventually you get the irrigation and then, you know, right. So, okay, so here we go. Oh, hey, uh, Code of Laws. I always like to co. I always try to tend to go toward Italy Empire. Gives me a governor type. Ooh, these both give tyrants, you know. I should do definitely all of this. But anyways, also be foreign trade. So I'm going to go for this. Yeah, that's my, my plan. And then back here to this, to the open technology tree. I'm going to shoot. I always try to do these first three. Uh, first thing I want to do is archery. That's always a unit I like to have at the very beginning. Just something I like. Okay. Here we go. Next up. I'll, before I do that, I want to check something on Discord. What's this? Okay. And it do actually had a message on Discord. Not, I try to look for things happening in Discord, but I didn't realize I actually have a actual uh, um, an actual uh, message, you know. Anyway, sorry. I get distracted there for a minute, okay? Wait a minute, I gotta do that. Hang on a minute. I gotta do this, okay? I'm gonna go to Google. Okay, oh, that's cool. I don't want that. Jeez. I want a Scottish... Scottish accent. Oh, Scottish versus Irish accent. How to do a Scottish accent. Well, these are all YouTube videos, right? But how do you... Three ways to talk with a Scottish accent. Okay. If, think of U sounds as U. For example, pronounce pull as pool. Place O sounds with the I sounds. For example, nae becomes no. Pronounce two short words as one word. For example, did not become didne. Drop the G. Now it says, said it going. Said it going. I pronounced two T's in a row. So instead of saying little, say little. Do not pronounce two T's. Little. Okay, you know, I don't know. I need to hear the accent, I guess. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's go check out this. Do a little exploring with my warrior before I build my scout. Mountains over here. So, oh, a little pocket of a city for here, looks like. I mean, it's a good bowl, bowl place to build like a university. Huh? I hear the bagpipes playing. I hear my mother country bagpipes playing. Shit, that, is that. Reconnaissance units like. Is that real action? Our city continues to prosper. All right, so, um, 
Yeah, I want an inner settler. I do want to get... Uh... uh... Mislinger. Oh, I've met we are the English. We are by the grace of God, Victoria. Queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. And soon, dare I say, the Empire. Victoria, of course, at this point, did have Scotland as part of her empire, you know? Alright. Take my scout up here. I met the English, they're right down there, which means if I build my next city, be able to build it down here quickly. Where are they? I mean, how close are they? That's why, really. Our explorers have spotted another friendly tribe. Oh, archery, good. I want archery. So there's, there's a, they're over here, aren't they? they? Have to be. I mean, these warriors don't go far. When you find yourself in a hole, quit. Uh, I'm gonna go for archery right now. Admiral Husbandry first. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Okay. Saladin, I think. الدائم الذي لا ينتهي ملكه ارسل اليك تحياتي يا صديق العزيز it's going to be interesting it would seem uh -oh. we have finally tracked the barbarian raiders yep barbarians there so where is it, Saladin? Where is Saladin? Oh, wait, where is this person? Okay, no. Well. We have discovered a city-state. There that? are several different types of city-state. I discovered a city-state? Well, there's London. Okay. A priest lab. Oh. Oh, they came in. That's why I got in the range. So you're. I guess there's a barbarian camp up here, huh? I am not wanting to go near the barbarian camp with my scout. Okay, what's next up? Next up, we got the. Oh, they left. It is ah, best to I use told caution you. when moving close to. I knew it. Hmm. Oh, water here. So, got a great land. Oh, I'm gonna go back over to Sterling. Go this way. Try to explore out. It's a delegation. Okay, cool. Cool. Major defeat. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna stand nearby. Gonna sing her in two turns. It is not wisdom, but authority that makes a law. Right, I'm going to. Uh, right now, double my XP and my scouting units, and I'm going to go with faith and golden capital. I find that having a little bit of faith starting off kind of gets you a good starting point. Enacting new policies in our government. Oh, what? Oh, never mind. Uh, okay, I'm going home, I said. And then this guy is going to go over here. So, uh, okay, we are close to that. I'm close to getting uh, I want another Just as our citizens have faith in your leadership, so they are beginning to have faith in a higher power. 
We have trained. So I went to. Oh, 20 turns. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on, man. I know, this sounds stupid, but I really need to. Oops. Builder. I need a builder first. Uh, yep. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna put this guy. I'll leave him here right now. Well, no, I'm gonna put him out. So, okay, that's right. My warrior's coming back too. Don't forget that. The warrior is coming back home. Coming home to stay. And right there. Oh, that's gonna be another. Oh, that's good. 13. Hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's right there. The sentry there. That's Alan over there. Your delegation is most welcome. There's Saladin. Yeah, okay. Oh. Can I just see that fight? I am fond of pigs. Whoa. Dogs look up to it. I'm gonna get him because I get the bonuses. There you go. Yeah. Okay. That's a word you're gonna hear me a lot say a lot. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna say him here. Uh I need to cross over. I need to get down here. I went for that scow oh, I see it's shoot. <laughs> Didn't recognize that. Oh well. Another not a problem. Just one more turn, it's all. Barbarians at the gate. Hmm. There you go. That's what I get. This military unit has ah. proven themselves. From the A military unit. Sweet. I like that. I don't mind scouts, but military units even better. Go anyways. So I guy gained one. Oh, promotion. Never mind. Okay, I thought it was another unit. It's just promotion, which is fine too. Promotions are good too. All right, so you're on my land. Get off. You know, actually, this guy should be here in the city. In the city. Another of them. Oh my gosh. I'm surrounded by barbarians, which makes sense, you know? Think about it. Early game. <clears throat> you got a lot of barbarians coming in. I spent a lot of time. Uh, psh, psh, I'm over here. Oh, no. Um, Let's go over here. Let's, let's get out you know? Get away from you. Don't need to be near you. I'm just a scout. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about that. Uh, I'm afraid it's gonna happen. I need to swap units.
There's Cairo. Okay. Hmm. Okay, they're over there. Oh, they're scouting us, why? Man. What? Oh. That's good. I shot an arrow into the air. Archery. Didn't check my promotions, just moved them. Major victory is mine. This guy, I think I can just promote him up to Archer. Yeah. Doing waiting. So, uh, promotion to. Kill. Okay, there you go. The biggest, I was just, I was just thinking to myself, the biggest thing I can do for myself when I'm streaming, whether with somebody else or not, is just to remind myself to talk slowly. Really? Is it a major defeat? Minus two damage, minus eight damage. What's got left though? I got how many hit points do I have? I have. They don't show hit points, do they? They mean you see it here. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Take that. All right. Raise your victory there. And then he's going to take out this guy. And that'll be that. Alright. The war. Okay, the minor skirmish is over. The barbarians have been subdued. In the meantime, more scouts come. And a reminder. So I want definitely. Now it's time for a settler. Okay. Um, just heal up there. I'm going to move here. And then shoot the scout. So we can't go back and tell his colleagues. Well, he's going to go back. You know, the builder is going to go over here and build my first mine with resources. And then this guy is going to continue on his merry way. Oh, he should heal up too. Well, he gets experience by just moving around. So who's this? The builder... Need a farm. I know no irrigation yet. Oh, I should go over here. The rice is going to be useful for food. In the meantime, I'll stay there. Heal up there. Uh, here, let's let's go here first. Oh, the horse. Yeah, I can use really use the horses. Problem is I'm too far away. I mean, this is an interesting spot. You know, got London over here. It's gonna grow soon. And I need, I need a, a second city. Go the hill. Ah, let's take that. Every nation lives by exchanging. We have the opportunity to develop. Nice. As our civic knowledge grows, so do our methods of governance. Further. Oh yeah, I have a governor now. So let's just wait here. Is he up? Oh, not the governor. Yeah, I guess. Uh, okay. Builder is gonna build. Farm. Okay, it helps there. And one more, one more on this, and he's. Yeah, the irrigation is bad. 
All right, my builder is going to build paint irrigation. Let's go to the Let's go here. What the heck? All right, I'm going to leave the archers there for right now. No man ever wetted clay and then left it. Though our population, your grace, I worry. I worry too. Oh, so do that. All right, we're writing. Uh, what's this? Okay. Oh, crap. I hate that. All right, let's come here. I'm glad they didn't attack my builder. Seriously weakened. So this is yeah, so we go over here and hang out. Wait for irrigation. You tread on dangerous waters Why? in the face of England and her loyal colonies. Why am I treading? Hmm. I should check her thing. Let me see. Agenda is sun never sets and one hidden. So I have no idea. Cry friendship? Ah, uh, too early, huh? What's in a delegation? Nope, does not approve. Yeah, whatever. The parliament does not approve. Dynasty? Wants to have his worship building in many cities. Dislike civilization with it. With it. Dislike civilization following other religions. Cannot accept. Likes civilizations from her home continent and wants to expand to all continents. Doesn't like civilizations on continents where England has no city. Am I on a different continent than you are? I was on the same continent. Oh, no, oh, maybe not. Let me build another city over here. The whole point of this game is to find out what you do and do not do. Warriors, okay. Uh, I'll leave him here right now. Sentry, this guy's gotta get healed up. Oh. Can I? Not yet. Wait, I thought just, wait, I just did irrigation. Oh no, that's right. Heal up. Next turn. Wait, where'd my, oh yeah, heal up my scout. Oh, barbarians at the gate. With one city, things are rather slow at first. Oh, scout. <laughs> yeah, you're not, you're not going to announce anything to anyone. <laughs> Writing's coming, then comes irrigation. Writing means sharing. Okay. We have recently gained. Yep, now I can do the district. I want to go for irrigation. The masonry, I like. To, okay, so. Heal up. Uh, just wait. And then let's go check out over here. wide area between over here I want to plant a city down here okay but then I'm, this is a wide open area right now I haven't met anybody else out here so that could be a very good place to move all right just, just stay here in the meantime let's go more exploring 
Hmm. Golden continent. Got some cattle. Horses. Some cattle. The I mean. number of faithful has. All right. What pantheon? I, I like. I like having. Um, Border expansion rate fifty percent higher, you know. Uh, wait, returns. Unmet city has been defeated. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Oh. Like to the apples Ooh. on the Dead Sea shore. Dead sea. All ashes to the taste. Ah, Dead sea. Through exploration, we have discovered a natural wonder of the world. There is no doubt that it could provide a great benefit. To the one who settles the land yes. surrounding it. I agree with that. Faith and luxury. Not science, though. That's the only downside. But I definitely agree with you about finding a Kyrwood right there. Should I put, I put my settler there, you think? I mean, I don't know. It's a good spot for a city, but it's awfully far away from my hometown. And I'm afraid I might lose control of it. Ah, see? Mecca's here now. Crap. Uh. You know they're going to go for that. Thousands have lived without love. You know, I could try it. You know, I've got a funny thing. I know what's going to happen. That's the thing. So, knowing what I know, then what's the point, right? No, no. It's a long way to go for a settler, you know? Just for what purpose, though? See, this has got good culture and faith, but I'm not looking for that. This guy definitely is looking for faith. Crap, I gotta build a city, though. I need to start building something. Eh. Well, either go down or go up. Oh, really? Let's see. <laughs> then, city here. Jeez, you know. See how this plays out. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Oh, they're gone, right? Okay. Or 
northern slopes. Trader gets more money. We use the money. Run away. This is why having one city. So that's why, you know. Yeah. Really? Move there, huh? It was luxuries like air conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire. All right, so loyalty per turn versus garrison. Oh, that's right. I'm not using eek. Okay, I do that, and then go from tree routes. Cause settlers half the price. I need to do that. We now have the opportunity to appoint a governor to our civilization. Okay, let's do it. I want to... I like this guy because it's... Uh... Wait, what? Harvest yields from plot harvest and features removal in city. So here's what I want. No constant... Oh, it's bad for Fanto. Garrison. It's not a city-state. Religion, Guildmaster, all builders, training city get plus one build charge. You know, I'm gonna point this person. May I make a suggestion? Yeah, what? Selling a new city has expanded its relation with an empire larger than one city. It's important to keep an eye on loyalty to your citizens. Yep. Our governor is now on their way to. It's very true. I want to check out. That's a good point. Where we stick. Yeah, full loyalty. Okay, I need to get the next one. Um, state workforce is the next governor. But this goes here too. It's headed toward this direction, which means it's going to go through this. Okay. Oh, that's a uh, new city needs to have an archer defense. Too close? How is close is too close? You know what I'm saying? Civilizations have uncovered new technologies and civics, and soon. You know, built right here, and you're right there. So what's why is that a bad? I think this is a good spot to have a city. I can yeah, use this for my stuff. You know, I think this is good. Okay. care of the enemy. Where is that barbarian? I need, probably need to go find it. Why? Yeah, okay, it's fine. I don't need to go through your area. I could use the extra money right now. What the heck? Oh, barbarians you can't see.
chase them. Clear this encampment. So they can never attack me again. Lots of land up there, but nobody there, so it's a good place to expand. You're busy carving a stone. Erect. Your Grace, we have obtained. Oh, just money. Okay. <laughs> Money's good. Money's good. There's the encampment, right? Agent Air ends in five turns. To my city first. In addition to bringing those roads, that's the biggest thing. So, I a settler. They attack me, therefore, I would have the advantage. Now, I think I'll survive another round or two. Oh, more. More archer, I mean, barbarians. Yep, I still gotta expand out, you know. Oh, shoot. Ah. That. Dang. Oh, well. That's the way it works. Hmm. I want to, yep, buy myself a skeleton. I can't afford not to have a scout, I think, personally. I want to have a scout, Without so I Without craftsmanship, can... inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. Speaking of which, am I at? I'm at seven. Ah, oh, I'm going to have a dark age. Why is that? Historic moments. Plus one, two, plus six each. That's a good question. What effects? What effects he? Oh. What effects? 
current score era civilization vi have to earn era points in historic moments golden ages return okay as you progress through the science tree you'll gradually progress through eras right so the world progresses from one era to another one it goes okay the age your sieve enters is determined by how much era score i get that dark era dark age policies can actually be handy especially if you have a hyper specialized strategy you earn by notable things i get that Oh, you mean like all oh, like defeating a barbarian, building a wonder? Mm, yeah. Well, I'm not close to doing either one of those. Oh, I haven't built the defeated a barbarian encampment yet. That'd be one of those things that you might say would be a useful thing, but I'm too. I'm not gonna do that. I don't have time to do that. It's gonna be dark age. go but to enter the dark age the time has come to choose which of our accomplishments to commemorate in our history this will inspire our people to continue to press forward towards a path of your choosing history marches forward and the world has entered a new era we may see a golden age or a dark age in our civilizations me, I got a dark age. <sighs> okay. Um, you are a dark age. You see your solutions. This is our point five loyalty pressure in your city. You may adopt a powerful dark policy. You can earn enough era score for golden age in the next game era. You make dedication. Uh, free inquiry, paint and brush, districts. Okay, I'm gonna do districts. We have fallen into a dark age. Yep. Though our cities will face loyalty challenges, with enough effort, we should be able to rise out of this dark age. We shall soon see, yeah, because. All right, um, ancient walls would be good. I mean, builders would be good. to go there. Oh well. Got myself an archer. I'm gonna hang out over here. Oh, undef un oh. undefended right now. in here right now. Doing tons of research. We're talking about. There you go. All right. Now just heal up. Ah. There you go. 
another scout. But I want to keep... I want to keep these guys here. I can at least... Oh, really? I don't know why you do that. You just... Our treasury is filled with gold. And I think it could be wise to make an investment. Perhaps we could expand our military. Yes, perhaps. Or maybe build under a settler. You know? Or build a builder. I'm thinking I should build a builder. Archer, bedding ram, scout. Oh, hang on. Oops. Yes. I don't want to keep the coast dark like this. I'm going to come back. All right. Uh, ah, see, there's the influence of that. So I want to go to. Here. Um, I know. It's just. Uh, it'll benefit me in the long run, I think. I'm going to settler, but I'm not sure. That's a problem. Let's uh, heal up right now. Oops. Barbarian. Move over here and shoot me up. I will look Ugh. other places. If I cared, really. I. Oh, okay. uh, good. Just if I have enough to get out of there. Of course, baby has found it is long. It is said by my people that the house of a tyrant is a ruin. And all I see is ruin around you. Denounce your sign's too low. Oh. Yes, I need a camp. I need to put it here. That's the thing. Which I really want it. And it's dark right now. Hang on. Nope. I'm going to build a granary. Oh, ancient walls. Oh, look, it's all dark. Dark even the globe is dark age dark. Okay, I get it. <laughs> I did not do enough. A man on a horse is spiritually as well as physically big. Which reminds me. There's the there's the thing. You don't get the error score. But I'm reminded of the fact that government wise I have policies. A dark age policy. Here we go. 
all units plus five cover strength from all melee attack but cannot heal after your territory. So acquisition, isolation, and monastism. Science is double the city of the holy site. Uh, well, I don't have that. That's the point. I don't. Really, I didn't have a dark age in my first game, so this is interesting, different. I had a normal error. Some money, but I did it. I've met We'd love for you to come visit. We are friendly. Once again, we have the opportunity to enhance our powers of governance. We can use it to promote one of our existing governors, or we can appoint another new governor. Yeah, so what I do for this person? This person gets plus 30% reduction towards Center City and Fishery Unique Improvement being built. No. I want to go back to I like this guy. So. Librarian. Oh. Yeah. Let's appoint this to. It is equally important to have a happy and engaged work. We are now ready to choose where to build our government buildings. We may only zone one of these in our empire, so choose carefully. I have to do that in my home city, but I don't know. Okay, I have another settler. He's not gonna like me going up here, is he? All these minus twenties. Wow. Consider using a governor in a new city or settling somewhere else. You know, I'm. I want to get. I'm trying to surround my area. Okay, I want to block off these guys from coming in. But I also need some horses. Or I like to have horses, but uh, so I'm thinking about going. Okay, government, plaza. Right there. Oh yeah, I was gonna, oh yeah, mind. Uh, do that. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do one more, th I'm gonna, I'm gonna go until I finish up something. Ooh, okay. I'll take that. Extra money is always good to have. What? Just met me. 
You're an evil upon this world. Your name will be cursed for ages. Denounces you. Why? What I do? What his thing? Life stations that bring religion. Oh my! Sorry, sorry. Sorry, that my one. Likes civilizations. Okay, dislikes civilizations that have found a religion but not. Oh well, I must be a hidden agenda that must be causing it. I don't know why he denounces me. Jeez. Like wow, just met the guy and he's already denouncing me. Then again, I should not be surprised. So I'm going to dump freeze now. Is there? How am I doing on my 11 out of 15? Eh. Okay, so. Did I stop here because this guy's here? I don't know. I'm going to an archer. I was going to plant a campus before I log off. That was what I was going to do. Oh, that's right. These guys are there. Crap. Oh, they're almost dead. Oh, that's right. I remember these guys. I met them before. Money, if it does not bring you happiness, will at least help you be miserable in comfort. Oh, there's a ah, there's a base. Well, oh crap, he's dead. This guy's gonna attack now. Yep, and he's dead. Oh! Sweet. enough to survive crap oh well ancient walls so i want to build a campus here yes okay that's all i wanted to do oh wait oh, well, i got oh, my scout if i can get my scout to lie it'll survive If he survives, I can go get that city and then I'm done. Because... Oh, they're over there now. Oh, crap. See, I should have. Oh, well. That's the way it works sometimes, you know? See? There you go. Ah, getting up to 14. Alright, okay, I'm going to. I'm not going to say this game. Yes, I'm not going to say the game. So, anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching this. Thank you. Appreciate the opportunity to share. If you have anything you ever want to accept prayer, prayer requests, let me post them. You know, privately send me a message. And uh, great to have you. And God bless you. And uh, stream it out.